Hello YouTube. This is your old pal Mike Kaylee 7. Coming to you from beautiful North Carolina. And I have my saxophone on the bike, as you can see. And uh, it's secure, as far as I can tell. <laughs> when you have the giant baritone saxophone on the back, it pushes you forward. And because of that, my feet are farther forward on the pegs where you lift your foot to put the your, your foot on the pegs is, is different so you end up hitting the engine or whatever. I don't recommend uh, carrying a baritone saxophone on the back of your Honda Goldwing. But such is my love for both of these, my motorcycle and my saxophone that I have decided to go with the, uh, the discomfort and very slight extra danger to both me and to all three of us, right? Me, my bike, and my saxophone. So this year, this year I have some plans for the riding season. I'm hoping to uh, head up to uh, Pennsylvania, kind of western northern Pennsylvania, perhaps uh, up into uh, New York State. I don't think I've seen enough of that area. There's a lot of beautiful roads up there. And uh, Moose has sent me some uh, information on Kentucky, so maybe that would be a ride as well. So maybe the earlier ride could be Moose and I going to Kentucky, which is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a day's ride for me. That ain't too bad. About 700 miles or so, 600 and something, 700. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, do the, the upstate New York uh, later in the season, let's say in the, the early fall, like September or something, because it's going to be cooler up there. That'll be nice. Trying to figure out a way to have Sweet Pea be part of this, because we don't have dogs anymore, so I don't want to leave her home alone if I can help it. That wouldn't be nice, me going off. Hey, honey, I'm going off and having a great time. Bye. You stay home and do nothing. I don't think that's fair. So. That's pretty much it. I was going to go out west again, but after this last trip, I've had to scale back my, my intentions because... That took a lot out of me. I think it was that thousand mile day. I don't have an iron butt pin or whatever the hell they call it. Because I didn't do it officially. But I know. Moose and I went over a thousand miles in one day. It took us 16 hours. To go from uh, Colorado Springs to Evansville, Indiana. I think it was 1,030 miles or 1,003 miles. Something like that. I think we rode extra just to make sure that we were over a thousand Well, then the next day, whoo wee man, was I beat. Only made it about 278 miles the next day toward home. I was going to go all the way, but nope, couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. Younger me, yeah. Old me, no. 
so maybe next year or the year after i don't know maybe moose and i will do it when we trailer things out there or rent when we get there or something i don't know but riding all that way i mean because what i really want to do is i want to ride in the california mountains up in the uh i guess it's the sierras i want to see um uh, yosemite that's what it is yosemite i want to see yosemite and uh you know go north of, from there if i can but it's a very ambitious trip and you have to ride across basically 2,500 miles or so, 2,200 miles, just to start your journey. So you're, you're beating down the road, maybe Highway 80, Highway 90 or something, going across uh, South Dakota to get to this area, or maybe going across Kansas again, going a little bit south. Oh, so just, oh. I've done it. I've been across Kansas four times now. <laughs> I don't want to do it again. Well, no, I don't think it's been four times because the first time I went, it was across South Dakota, that area up there. And then I, yeah, so I guess, let me see, I came back through it. So I've been through it twice. And that's enough. I don't want to go south either. I don't want to go through Arkansas again. My God, I don't want to go through Arkansas again. Please, no. Please, no. Please, God, no. Careful here. Yeah, so you're gonna look, you're gonna look, you're gonna pay attention. I saw this guy yesterday. Piss me off. He was on his Harley with his girlfriend. And he uh he come in from the right side where it is it's illegal to and cut in front of the car in front of me. And he was going over the double yellow pass and people with a girlfriend on the back. And I was so angry. I'm like, you son of a bitch. You make us all look bad when you ride like that. Not to mention you're endangering your passenger. You're endangering yourself. And if you hit a car, you could hurt the person in the car. And then what are you going to do? If you go off the road because you're going too fast or you're, driving, you're riding stupid, you're going to be begging for help. Oh, please help me. Take me to the hospital. And I, I don't have any insurance. So I want the public to pay for my injuries. Fuck you. Stop riding like an idiot. If one of those, if you are watching me now and you're one of those people who crosses the double yellow line all the time and completely ignores all traffic rules and you think the road doesn't apply to you, the rules of the road don't apply to you, and you're being very irresponsible. I sound like a parent. You're being very irresponsible. Fuck you. There. I'm only endangering myself and my saxophone. <laughs> no, but seriously. Don't run like an idiot. It doesn't help anybody. I think I'll park over there. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I think I'll park over there. Yeah, yeah. Look at me, I'll follow the rules of the road. That's a one way. So I'll go this way. <sighs> It'll be nice to play and then be able to ride. I will enjoy that thoroughly. Maybe I'll even take the bike out the back with the saxophone on it when I get out of work later on and play in the parking lot for you. So you get to see the bike and me playing saxophone. My fat ass marching back and forth. Limping back and forth. Ah, oh, goodness. Alright, it's my Kaylee 7. I'll talk to you later.